Hey y'all, what's up? It's Alicia. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all about how to remove crochet braids. It's super duper easy, it's fast and it's effective, but you will also not receive any kind of hair damage, any breakage, anything like that doing this exact method. So let's go ahead and get this thing started. First thing I like to do is to separate my leave out. Of course, I go ahead and just twist it all away because I would hate for my leave out to get caught in my crochet hair and then I accidentally cut it. So yeah, here I am just flat twisting my leave out. I do two separate flat twists, make sure everything is put away and then I'll move on to actually removing the crochet hair. All right, you guys, so we have our leave out twisted and separated from all of the other crochet hair, and now it's time to start removing the crochet hair. Now, in this part, y'all, is super duper easy. I like to work braid by braid. So as you guys can see, I already went ahead and kind of sectioned off just one braid, and I put everything else away using a hair clip. And what I like to do is to take my scissors, the scissors that are meant specifically for hair, I like to take those and then just cut off each piece. So I just cut off about majority of the piece and then I undo the knot by hand. And if you guys think the knots are super tight, they aren't. The knots just slip out. So whenever you cut off each piece, Undoing the knot takes literally one second. It kind of just like unravels on its own and you just pull the extra hair out of the braid and that's it. So again, I just take my hair scissors, cut just about majority of the hair piece. I have about a couple of inches left and then I undo the knot by hand. It just slips out and I keep doing it all the way down each braid and then I'll move on to the next braid and individually cut out each piece as well. And honestly, if you trust yourself, you can cut even more of the piece off. It's just for me, I'm very scared that I would accidentally cut like my braid or something like that, which is why I leave like a couple of inches left to pull the knot out. But if you trust yourself, you can totally go ahead and cut all the way like to the braid and then unravel the little piece of hair that's in a knot. All right, y'all, so all of the crochet hair is out, and honestly, it took probably 10 minutes to cut all of my crochet hair out. So like I said, it's super duper easy, and the knots do come out fairly easy, so it takes no time at all, and we didn't have any damage. Now it's time to just take down my braids. My hair is looking pretty crusty, as y'all can see, so my hair definitely needs a wash. And all I do, of course, is just to unravel my cornrows, nothing fancy here, but what I do do is after I, um, unravel each corn roll. I do like to finger detangle because that kind of helps to minimize any knots and tangles later. I know since I had these braids in for almost three weeks, I'll have a good amount of shedded hair, but if I can minimize the amount of detangling I have to do later and just the amount of knots or tangles that I'll have later on, I will definitely do that. So after I take down each braid, like you guys will see in a second, I do go in and finger detangle and then I just keep going braid by braid and finger detangle that small section of hair.
And honestly, that's pretty much all I do to take down my crochet braids. After I have unraveled all my caramels, I will go in and take down my twist, my leave out twist that I had earlier and do one more final finger detangling all throughout my entire head of hair. And that's pretty much it. And after finger detangling, this is how much shedded hair I had, which wasn't too bad at all considering I had been, my hair had been braided up for three weeks. So that wasn't bad at all. And this is how my hair looks nice fluffy and full so I will of course wash and deep condition my hair off camera but I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how I take down my hair if you guys have any questions go ahead and comment them down below as always I love y'all and I will talk to you guys in the next video bye y'all